Do you hate wet feet as much as I do? Then get Vessi and you'll never have to worry about wet feet again. Click the link directly below this video for special discount pricing just for those of you watching my video today. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Dealer Auto Auction. We're gonna look around and see if we can find anything that we're gonna bid on this week. And maybe we'll even be able to bring something home. We're gonna start out with a thumbnail, a 2019 Ford F-150 XLT. It's got some Asante rims on it. I actually like the way it looks. It's got a nice stance. It looks like somebody lowered it. It's got very low miles, 27,000 I think on the odometer. And this one is from The Key. We've talked about this place before. They're a uh, buy here, pay here place out here in Oklahoma. And this is most likely, along with the rest of them over here in this whole area, a repossession. What's crazy is you take the time and the money to put these wheels on. These aren't cheap wheels, guys. And the lowering kit, and you make this thing look great, and then it gets taken from you. These are 22s, that's really sad, really sad. Obviously this truck was somebody's pride and joy. They loved it and obviously something happened. We don't know what it was, but something happened and they ended up having to let it go. Beautiful truck, nice stance. Love the hard cover that it's got on it. Does it open? It does, oh, look at that. That's actually really nice. Oh, wow. You got your bed slide. Look at this. Oh. oh. Yep. I could uh I could do this. I really like this. I like this a lot. Well, I don't know if it's closed, but it's a we'll figure that out later. Looks like it's got pretty good tires. The body's in good shape. Paint looks good. Let's take a quick peek at the in at the interior here very very plasticky of course it is an xlt it's it's not a highly optioned vehicle but you do have weather tech floor mats front and rear see how these seats look do these not just pull back down oh you got to pull a handle to get them down okay seats actually look to be in really really good shape let's take a peek up front oh, it's it's a beautiful truck it doesn't smell it doesn't have any signs of cigarettes or any odors it's just a nice truck i love this thing might not be the best for towing seeing as it's been squatted down but i don't know there's just something about these fords man they are gorgeous trucks let's pull this back seat down i want to take a quick look at it as well make sure nothing's torn or ripped or any of that good stuff there we go looks nice real nice super low mileage i think it might still be in warranty i think these things have like a five-year warranty you do have the panoramic roof which is really nice also okay quiet down let's see if it wants to run you still have a key really in 2019 a key a physical key well, that doesn't sound like a that doesn't sound like a v8 I forgot to check to see what kind of engine this thing's got in it. We'll pop the hood in just a minute. It's like it's got a, a, a second key or the fob right there. Okay. Lots of cubby holes, lots of storage space. You got a 12 volt and a 400 watt, 110 volt inverter right here. You got your trailer brake. Of course, you got two, four high and four low. Power everything, automatic headlights. I, I, this thing's got it all. For, for as basic of a truck as it is on the interior, it's got a lot of options that it comes with. Brakes feel good. Right into reverse. Right into drive. Steering feels fine. It's only got 27,000 miles. Everything's gonna work. Important window works. Yeah, this is, this is decent. I have no doubt the air conditioning and everything works as well we don't really need ac today because it's a little chilly outside according to this it's 20 degrees that is not accurate i promise you it's it's actually uh well hell i don't know it says it's 68 there's no way yeah i guess it is 68 degrees it seems cooler than that outside today ac works great 
I'm sure the radio works. Sanctifying. Yeah, radio works. Air conditioning is ice cold already. We can go ahead and shut that off. Purrs like a kitten. We can go ahead and shut the engine down. And speaking of the engine, it would be worth popping the hood and seeing what she's got under there. Probably the, uh, what is it, the 3.5? The EcoBeast? The EcoBoost motor would be my guess. I don't think this got a coyote in it, but let's pop the hood. Well, it helped if I could get the latch. There we go. Yep, that's interesting. Isn't there usually a big cover over these? Seems a little strange that it's missing. You can see everything. That's, I don't even think that's the 3.5. I think that's like the 2.7. Let's take a look up here and see 2.7. says it right there. Ugh. That's the really small, really, really small V6. Yeah. And all those fuses. Somebody's been up in there as well. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I mean, it is what it is. Everything looks to be there and it runs great, but I don't know. For me, I really would, I at least want the 3.5. I'd kind of prefer the 5.0. I really prefer the Coyote. A 3.5 would be okay, but the 2.7, I don't think I'm interested in it. So we're going to move on to the next one, which just so happens to be right next to what we just looked at. A 2019 Honda Civic. It's a clean little car. These things go for some money, but... I think they're worth it. And it, it all depends on what kind of a price we can get it for. As with everything at the auction, you got to be sure you get it at a good price or you're going to lose money. Now, I'm kind of the king of losing money on YouTube when it comes to these cars, but I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to buy some nicer, more entertaining cars for you folks that watch these videos, while at the same time hoping that I can make some kind of a profit, any kind of profit. The dog leg has got damage here. It's not severe. You know, it's not pretty got some scraping right here as well will that affect the sale at the auction normally yes but in this case probably not a lot of people don't come out and preview these cars they just stand in line and they bid on them as they roll through you know their hands go up bid 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 they're probably going to miss that until after they get it that's why it's important for me to come out here and preview the cars that i'm interested in before the auction so that i can look them over i can know exactly what i'm getting what to expect and bid accordingly. Now that all the way that, that doesn't don't <laughs> that doesn't always happen. I got tongue tied there for a minute. That doesn't always happen. There's a lot of cars that I find on Mannheim and uh, Ove and things that you know you can't go see in person. They're red light as is, and the prices are so good that I just have to have them. And in those cases, I roll the dice. I take a gamble, and we see what happens. But you know, at least out here, I can come look at this stuff for myself. Let's take a peek. At the interior, I love this gauge setup. I really do. This is nice. Radio works. We can turn that down. Start it up. We have, let's see what lights come on. Let's close the door. TPMS light. That's it. 23,000 miles on the odometer. Another very low miles car, guys. Looks like somebody installed... An aftermarket USB. Maybe that's aftermarket. Maybe it's stock. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a Honda guy. You got your books and everything in there. Seats look to be pretty good. It actually looks. It looks very nice. Let's put it in gear. Right into gear. Got a nice backup camera. Right into drive. Steering, of course, feels good. The AC is already on. I can feel it. It is nice and cold. Important window. Tinted windows, too. Very nice. Yep, these are probably repos. Um, I'm not for certain, but I think uh, I think the key in other places like this, they tend to buy these newer model cars that are off fleet use slash lease slash rental cars. They buy them when they're still relatively new model years with relatively low miles. Basically, rental cars, lease companies and stuff are done with them rather quickly within a couple years. And they come in and buy them, then sell them at buy here, pay here. Unfortunately, a lot of cars are being repoed lately. You've got your uh, collision avoidance. I think that's like your adaptive cruise as well. You've got your lane departure warning and your traction control. You got your economy button, your parking brake, and then, of course, AC and stereo controls. This is a... Uh, 
This is a really nice little car. I'm surprised by how comfortable it is. I fit well in it. I mean, I'm not a large guy, but I'm definitely not a small guy by any stretch of the imagination. I'm 5'11 and a half, so close to six feet, so close. And I'm about 220 pounds, so definitely not the smallest guy in the chat here, but I fit nicely in this car. Really nice, it's very comfortable. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And I'm willing, what is this? Electrical tape, okay. I think I'm willing to take a little gamble on this one. Tires look good. Let's pop the hood real quick. Just take a quick peek under here. Make sure there's nothing crazy going on. Super simple engine. Look at this. This is this is so easy to work on. Um, I've gotten so so used to looking at these uh, Mercedes and Range Rovers that you know everything under the hood looks like it's a nightmare to get to. You see something like this, it's refreshing. It's like man. What a great little car. Super easy to work on. And with this low of mileage and being a Honda, I doubt you're going to have to do any real work to it anytime in the near future. Again, being a 19, four years old, under, under what, 20? 23,000. It's got 23,000 miles on it. This thing should probably still be under warranty as well. If it goes for a good price, I'll throw a bit on it. Maybe we can win it. Next, we got a 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500. Don't know much about this one yet, but we'll take a closer look at it. Looks like it's got practically new tires. The miles are 19,801. So this one is definitely still under warranty. We'll take a quick look around. There's some damage to the back here. Right over there. It's bent up pretty good. Interior. Smells like smoke. I'd like to get these seats down. There we go. A little bit of staining and a little bit of pet hair, but nothing too bad. Looks pretty good. I mean, most of this should be in great shape with only 20,000 miles on the odometer. Let's take a peek up here real quick. We'll walk around the rest of it before we get out of here. It's very nice. This is very nice. Probably a 5.3. It's got how many hours? Total 10,000? No, 1,000. 1,072 hours, 525 of those is idling. Let's drop this tailgate, electronic. It doesn't work. It clicks. There it goes. It's a little sticky. This is definitely a work truck. You can tell by this bed, man. This thing is just tore up. Look at that. All kinds of chewed up. Still though, the rest of it looks really, really nice. Multiple storage compartments here, really nice. You got your books, it's always nice to have those. More storage, it's a little dirty, needs a detail, but overall, this isn't too bad. I like the color too. Really, really like this color. All right, now it's time to get in it and see if she's going to fire up, I'm sure it will. That's what I love about this place. Most of the cars and trucks out here, they're ready to go. You just, you can buy them and drive. Like, you don't, I bring the booster pack, but 99% of the time, I don't even need it. Everything comes to life, just like it's supposed to. Low fuel. Oil pressure is good. Battery voltage looks good. Looks like it's coming up. Definitely out of gas. That's nothing new. Yeah, this is this is nice. We'll turn the air on. I have no doubt. Everything should work in this, and if it doesn't, it's not that big a deal because it's still under warranty. Important window. Yep. Both sides work like they're supposed to. Brakes feel great. Steering is buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. That is really, really nice. AC was off. Let's turn that on. I mean, even though it's under warranty, it's still good to check things out. Never assume. I think that's the best advice I could give you if you're ever going to get into auction cars. Never, ever, ever assume anything. Verify. And if you can't, then always assume on the side of caution. Assume nothing works and you have to fix all of it. All right. If you just have to assume something, assume everything is bad you know that way if you're expecting the worst you're hoping for the best right uh but you're not going to be surprised if everything is broken 
anyway, I, I highly recommend you just come out and really look at these things. Finally, the air conditioning kicked in. It took quite a while. It was a long time. The radio. Yeah, radio works as well. It's got that crappy auto start and stop feature. I really hate that. How much fuel economy are you really saving with that anyway? We'll go ahead and shut her down. Let's pop the hood. Make sure this has got a 5.3 and not like a 4.6 liter or 4.3 liter, whatever the hell V6 they put in these things anymore. I'm sure it's a V8. Oh, turbo. What? A four cylinder. Uh, what? Oh, hold on, it can't be a four banger. 2.7? I'm very, very confused. I did not know that Chevy started putting these tiny engines into these trucks. Surely it's at least a straight six, but that doesn't look like a straight six to me, guys. That looks like that's a four banger. It's got to be. That's a little four banger. Okay. By today's standards, a 2.7 liter, that's a pretty big engine, uh, especially for a four cylinder but no <laughs> there's no way man no way i'm going to be doing any towing or hauling with this thing i didn't i didn't know this existed chevy really really maybe i'm underestimating this little engine but i i just i got no faith in that none uh warranty or not this is not one I'll be bidding on. Now this one I find very interesting. It's a 2021 Ram 3500. This is exactly what I have. Heavy duty, Cummins turbo diesel. This is exactly what I have. If the exception of the long bed, I have the short bed. But this truck, this truck has over 300,000 miles on the odometer. Over 300,000 from a 2021 damage on the rocker down there damage to the front bumper damage to the grill damage to the lights definitely been used 301,773 miles on a 2021 wow there's one of the seat belts with the pretensioner and everything oh it smells it smells real bad in here <laughs> it smells real bad Oh boy, definitely a workhorse. That's what this thing has always been, a workhorse. This seat, surprisingly, looks really good. You got some switches there. I don't know what they go to. Some of it probably goes to the lights. Then you got this seat over here that is just torn apart. You got your old school four wheel drive. Oh, we got to fire this up. Yeah, 301777 on the dash. Let's see if it runs. It does. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Perform service, I'm sure. I'm sure this thing needs some service. Well, here's one of the things it needs. The the DEF is dead empty. And these things, I think they go into like a limp mode or something uh, after they get down to zero. And that that's definitely on, on zero. No kidding. 301,000 miles. Right into gear two. What a truck. Man, what a truck. That speaks volumes. It really does. People are always out there making fun of Ram, Fiat, Chrysler, whatever. And I'm like, dude, man, uh, I guess talk trash on, on whatever you want. But I'm here to tell you, man, these Cummins, these things just, they just go. They are workhorse as hell. Santa's Workshop's got one. It's got over 600,000 miles on it. And his lift pump just went out. Original lift pump. Almost everything on his truck is original with over 600,000 miles on it. It just shows these things can last a long time if you maintain them properly. Take care of them. And they'll take care of you. I wonder what this thing's going to go for. I'm half tempted to buy it. 
and replace my current truck with this old workhorse right here. I think this is gonna be the last one for the video, guys. I've had a lot of you asking what happened, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. I said in a previous video out here that I was going to start buying newer model like Hyundais and Kias, and that was it. And I was gonna make a profit well, there's a, a few things have happened because you've probably noticed I've been buying some of the worst cars you can buy. The Mercedes and Range Rovers, I've been out buying awful cars, but they're great for content. And that's kind of where I ran into an issue. You know, sure, I could buy Hyundai Elantras and Hyundai Accents, Kia Fortes, Kia Optimas, but how long is that going to entertain anybody? Number one, it's not a very entertaining car to begin with. Don't get me wrong, I like them, I love them. If you've been around for any length of time, you've heard me sing massive praises to Kia and Hyundai. I love them. But as far as content goes, there's just nothing there. You know what I mean? There's nothing there. Whereas, perfect example, all right? My first video on the Mercedes SL600 that I bought right here from this auction, the first video has over 150,000 views as of the making of this video, and it's still climbing. The second video has hit 100,000 views as of the making of this video. Now let's move to the Kia Forte that I bought from IAA. The Kia Forte that I bought, even though it's broken, I had to figure out what was wrong with it, and I had to fix it. The Kia, as of the recording of this video, has hit 60,000 views. You see the difference? There's a big difference there. There really is a big difference there. So that's kind of where I'm at. I've got to make sure that I'm finding stuff that you folks are interested in. If you don't watch the videos, if you don't like what I'm recording, then it doesn't do me any good to buy it and film it. And I really feel like you would get bored very quickly if all I did was buy Hyundais and Kias. So basically what I'm telling you is I changed my mind. I, ch I changed my mind. That's not to say I won't buy them from time to time. Um, this tells me everything I need to know. This looks like one of those Kia boys type of deal. I'm not all that familiar with them other than they go out jacking Hyundais and Kias with a USB port. And it involves taking this bottom panel off. Well, this bottom panel has been removed and there's something disconnected right there. So, yeah, this looks like it was stolen. And if you come over here, yep, I guess that's for the USB right there, isn't it? Yeah, you could probably fit a thumb drive perfectly in there. That's insane. That's insane. Turn that down. Let's see if it runs. It does. Yeah, it needs a new ignition. Not a big deal. It's only got 47,000 miles on the odometer. I have to wonder, though, with all the thefts of Hyundai and Kia lately, has it affected their sales? You know, not just on new cars, but also at the auction, used cars. Are people afraid to buy these now uh, because they're so easily stolen? This is really nice though. I mean, it really is. Brakes feel good. It's only got 47,000 miles. It goes right into gear, forward and backward. No issue at all. Air conditioning is on. It is ice cold. It's got cigarette burns. It smells like, well, Mary Joanna uh, and cigars. Black and milds to be specific. Don't ask me how I know what they smell like. I'm not gonna answer you, but you know, yeah, it's a nice looking car. It's a little beat up from being stolen. Oh, well, I don't know what that was. I was getting ready to show it to you, but it's missing now. I dropped it. Just a decent car. We could definitely fix this. It's not a big deal. I don't know what it would sell for, but let's pop the hood. Let's take a quick peek. Let me walk around, check the tires out real quick. Uh, make sure they're decent. It's got Pro Touring Falcons. All right. And then on the back, we've got Goodyear. I don't, I don't like that. I like the tires to all match. We've got a Goodyear. We've got a Falcon. So at least, you know, they replace the front and back as pairs. That's better than nothing. <sighs> well, I hate all the grease all over the engine bay but it is what it is. It's clean, it sounds good. This could be a contender. Now I've had a lot of people wondering, there's an app that I've been using, a lot of people have been asking about it, it's not sponsored. Okay, I wanna make that very clear. Um, I pay full price for this, it's Black Book Cherry. It's a relatively inexpensive, I think it's like $75 a month um, app, and I can go and scan the VIN, I can go to VIN scan, and I can just, Bingo, it already picked it up. 
and it will tell me I need to put in the mileage, which is 40, we're just gonna put 47,000 miles on this, uh, 47,700, how about that? We'll apply it and it will tell me, based on the vehicle's history and everything, how much it's worth. So my price wholesale, according to this, I should be looking at paying somewhere around 14,375 and retail would be around 17,450. All right, so 14, 17. So that's about $3,000 of wiggle room there if I were selling at retail. The problem is I have not I have not gone retail. I don't have my retail license. I'm still wholesale and I may keep it that way. I had uh, an opportunity with a retail dealer, um, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's going to work out. That person and their business is going through some things currently and uh, they just don't have time for this right now. But I can always find another one if I wanted to sell retail. But I'll be honest with you, part of the reason I don't is because of how easy it is to just sell through Copart. It's quick, it's easy, it doesn't cost me much. They handle everything for me. And for that, I really enjoy doing it the way I've been doing it. The only downside is I almost always lose money. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.